Good evening, I'm Ashley Knight. Thanks for joining us. First on five, one woman is facing DUI charges after she plowed her pickup truck through a hair salon on Airport Boulevard this afternoon. News 5's Emily DeVoe was at the scene and talked to the terrified customers and business owners who were inside when it happened. A crowd of people outside the Unicut hair design on airport could not believe what they saw. I never not thought I'd get ran over by a truck in a haircut place. Kyler Leisure, his older siblings, and their dad were inside the salon when this woman, 51-year-old Karen Eanes, plowed through the front window. I was sitting in the chair over there and I got flung across the room and next thing I know I got up and ran out of the building. Surprisingly, he only has a few scratches, but this could have been a lot worse. It's miraculous that we only had uh, minor injuries involved in this. No one was transported, but it could have easily been a deadly situation. Uh, just because the driver was drinking and driving. The driver is facing DUI charges, and the salon owners are looking to press charges of their own. Obviously, we're going to be taking a legal route uh, to try and get compensated. They say they have a higher power to think that no one was hurt. This is my god. His name Hanuman. This giant glass piece with a picture of a Hindu god on it was one of the largest pieces that wasn't shattered. They believe that's not a coincidence. I kept this photograph in, uh, on the on the window to protect my saloon, and he did. There's a lot to clean up after the truck's towed away. A bumper sticker on the back of it sums up the whole situation in a single sentence. It took me a second to process. There's a freaking F-150 in the hair salon. But one sentence isn't enough for these kids to tell their story of a trip to the hair salon they won't forget. Coming in, I don't remember it hitting. I was just lis listening to music on my phone, and then next thing I know, the music was just in, and then I flew across the room, and then I got up, and I was like, what happened to my music? And luckily, they're all alive and safe to tell it as many times as they want. Luckily, it looks like most of the damage is to the storefront, but the salon owners say they had just finished replacing that window after someone fired gunshots into the building overnight a few months ago. As of right now, the only charge against the driver, Karen Eanes, is DUI. Live in the newsroom, Emily DeVoe, News 5.